Okay, now guys, one more thing. Here's uh, another uh, tip on getting to become a better passer. Just like the shooting video, uh, there's things you can do at home, after school. Get a buddy, get your mom, get your dad, get somebody else with a stick, and get out in your driveway, a piece of concrete, a piece of asphalt, a parking lot, anywhere you can, and you can become a better passer. Now, a regular puck is no good. Obviously, off the ice, it doesn't slide. Uh, for a long time, all you could really do is play street hockey, get a hockey ball. But there's a product called a Green Biscuit. Uh, I got one of these for the first time a couple years ago. I was a bit skeptical at first, but uh, you'll be amazed at how well this thing travels over pavement or over concrete. Uh, it's about the same profile as a regular puck. It's uh, very slippery, so it slides on almost anything. And it's got a little uh, joint in the middle so that as it hits some bumps, it can go up and down without flipping over. So we're going to demonstrate how this works. Uh, you'll become a much better passer, both for making passes and receiving passes. If you get yourself one of these, I think they're at the sport check for about $10. Get yourself one of these and get to doing practicing your passing when you're, you know, free time after school, after supper. Okay. Okay, guys. So here's the green biscuit in action. Um, when you send this thing along, it moves just like a regular puck. What you can do is uh, practice, you know, taking a puck with a perfect pass. You can practice backhanders. You can practice. Saucer passes. I find uh, the more pucks you take off your stick, you kind of learn how to angle your stick properly and the right weight to have on it because sometimes you get a nice soft pass, sometimes you get a really hard pass, and you got to be able to pick them all up. So here's a few saucer passes. And a few backhanders. Basically, you can practice all kinds of scenarios. You know, in a game, it's very important to be able to pick up a pass, whether it's a good pass or a bad pass. If you can get that puck on your stick and keep moving it forward, uh, chances are you're going to keep the other team on the defensive side, keep it in their end. So you can basically come out here and do as many passes as you want. You'll never be, you know, there's no such thing as being too good at passing. Uh, the more you do, the better you'll get, and the better it'll help your game. What I like to do too is we like to do some extra hard passes. Uh, sometimes a really hard pass comes and it's hard to keep it on your stick without it bouncing off or going through. So I'll do a few extra hard passes and uh, we'll see how, how you pick those up. And sometimes the puck is not close to you, you gotta reach for it, but even with one hand on the stick, if you reach for it, if you keep your stick angled the right angle, you can stop that puck and you can keep going forward. So here's one that Andrew's going to have to reach for. And on the back end. Okay guys, so get yourself a green biscuit, find somewhere to practice, do as many of these as you can. You'll find that the puck ends up on your stick and on your tape and you keep going, you get a lot more scoring chances and we'll be a lot better team. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you get this set up at home, uh, everyone, all the coaches, all the parents will be able to tell actually because by the time November, December comes around, you're just going to be much better at shooting, much better at passing. Uh, this is unlimited, right? We only get a couple hours on the ice a week. All the free time you might have at home that you're uh, playing Xbox or maybe fooling around with your buddies. Uh, if you've got nothing to do, find some time to do this. The more you do it, the better you'll be. And it'll make us a better team, make you a better player. And thanks for watching.